We cannot rely on Donald Trump, we cannot rely on the U.S. administration, and we cannot rely on U.S. universities for science. What if environmental scientists could also come together and have their own social network where we can actually generate better research about climate science? So I created the Sustainability Academic Network, or SusanHub.com. Think of this network like a LinkedIn, but actually designed for environmentalists and climate change researchers. So here you can find pretty much anything that you need if you're doing climate change research and you can find your community and communicate with them. And something interesting started to happen when Donald Trump was elected as president. Donald Trump started to raise data about climate change, data about forest fires, glaciers, and all sorts of diversity and inclusion efforts. And this data is really important because it allows us to create advancement and innovation in the social sciences and in climate change. So before Donald Trump's administration started to erase these data sets, the researchers started to collect them in a lot of other uh, initiatives that they developed, and they started to post this data in our website. So now our website can serve like a yellow pages, but for data sets in climate change research. One of the really interesting things with the rise of Donald Trump is how geopolitics are changing the supply chain of research. Because for many decades, the US has been the mecca of academia. All the roads, if you think about it, lead to US universities. They were the ones that had all the brain power. But this is no longer the case. So now it's interesting to see how other countries, for example, France, are developing programs to bring the brain power to their countries. And this is going to change how research is done and it's going to change the configuration of how researchers collaborate. And that's one of the really neat things to see in my social network, to see how researchers are starting to reconfigure each other and to develop new networks to develop better research.